What do each of these short clips have in common? They are all examples of gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Let's begin with the definition of energy, which is the capacity to do work. Potential energy is stored energy. Gravitational potential energy is the potential an object has to do work as a result of being located at a particular position in a gravitational field. As an object like this bicycle gets further off the ground, the potential energy increases. Potential energy also increases as the mass of an object increases. The formula for gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity times the distance above a surface. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. To keep matters simple, we will focus upon translational kinetic energy, which is the energy due to the linear motion of a rigid object. The kinetic energy, from here on the phrase kinetic energy refers to translational kinetic energy, of an object depends upon two variables, the mass of the object and the speed of the object. The following equation is used to represent the kinetic energy of an object and it is equal to 0.5 or 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared, which is the speed of the object. So in summary, potential energy is stored energy due to the position of the object, and kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.